Hey Car Pack, this is Justin Holiday of the Indiana Pacers. Welcome to the Sports Card Consultant Show. First of all, you better get my rookie card. It's going to blow up. Second, thanks for supporting the show and being awesome. Enjoy. Hey, hey, what's up Card Pack? Today we're going to go over the top 10 football cards that went up the most over the last seven days. You know, the Super Bowl has been over for a few weeks now. Football tends to kind of start ticking up this time of year. I thought it was important to take a look at what football cards are going up. And there's some interesting stuff on there, no doubt about it. Uh, I want to remind you I'm doing the NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. All you need to do to enter is to click the link in the description and leave a review on the podcast. That's all you got to do. And, of course, if you don't know, uh, this recording, every recording, is now going to be put in an audio format on podcast so you know if you're driving or working out or somewhere you can't watch a video you can still listen i do my best job to describe what we're looking at and describe the numbers and stuff like that and also want to remind you of the sports card society where almost every day i make an exclusive video outlining a specific sports card opportunity that i've dug deep in the research and i found and i feel really good about looks like it has a good probability and i make a about five minute video sharing my find and what um other findings I found to support that I think this is a good buy. And then, of course, usually what I plan on doing with the card and everything like that. Long-term hold, quick flip, mid-term hold, stuff like that. This Michael Jordan here back in January, we're getting it for, you know, under 30 bucks. Today it's going for 88 It did have a high sell of about 115 I believe. This chipper, we were getting it for around 75 in January. Uh, end of February, it's going for 200 This Kobe, we're getting it for 160 in January. It's going for 450, 550 here in February. Um, and this LeBron James, um, we were getting it for around 150 bucks uh, today. You know, February it's going for around 630 some bucks, 600 some bucks. So pretty good stuff there. Um, also, you get access to um, discount PSA grading, so you get 20 day grading for 25 dollars. Although PSA just changed their price today on their website, so I don't know what that's going to look like, but it will still be less than that and uh, at least at the moment five degrading for seventy dollars but uh, we also have a private discord group as a member of the society and that alone is worth its weight in gold because there's some really good sports card investors in there and a lot of great conversations and a lot of like it's a good place to think things out and talk with people for sure and it's way better than some free discord because in a free discord you got a bunch of chumps in there that are just like not serious about anything it can be very confusing and hear way too many perspectives, honestly, from a bunch of people that aren't really doing anything. But here, these are people that are actually paying to be in a group, and they're serious about sports card investing, so their opinion really does matter more. And, of course, if you want to learn how I'm able to find these cards, um, how I'm able, what, my, what my method is, stuff like that, I made this course called the Delta Factor because I always get people asking me, you know, what, how do you do this? How do you find these cards? What do you do? What do you look at? What kind of data? What does this mean? What does this mean? I'm like, you know, I'm just going to put together a course it's about seven or eight videos, about three, four hours long. And it lays out what I do to find undervalued sports cards that are going to go up. That's basically what it does. And, you know, going over the past few months of all my stuff, I've realized that about 83%, a little over 83% of my cards have gone up in value. And the ones that haven't, like, they're gonna probably. Uh, it's just that they're longer plays or they're in a different part of the cycle and I'm just not planning on selling them anytime soon. I, I don't really care. So overall, like, but when I first got back into card, sports card investing, I just, I, I was just buying what everyone else is buying. I didn't really know. So through all that time and effort and a lot of mistakes, I learned how to do what I call the Delta Factor. So link for this is also in the description. Link for the society is in the description. Let's dive into the content. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Oh, by the way, with the Delta Factor, you also get a free month of the Sports Card Society. I'm only doing that for a limited time just because I launched this last week. You get a free month of the Sports Card Society, and you get a whole year of access to the private Discord group. So a lot of good bonuses going on here, too. Um, but I'm going to be getting rid of those soon. It was just there as like a special thing because I just launched it. So anyway, all right, now let's dive in. Hit that subscribe button. Click that bell. Smash that like button. Here we are. I'm in the Market Movers tool. I went to Price Movements by Card. Pulled up Football. Grade PSA 10 over the last seven days. Barry Sanders, 89 score. Base top on the list up 18.4%. I believe we've been seeing this card on the charts for like a few weeks, it feels like. Barry's been on the charts for a few weeks, for sure. I don't know if it's this exact card. I've definitely looked at this before, but there's another one, too, where he's, like, sitting on a bench. This one, his 1989 score, pop count of 1809. If you don't know what pop count means, that's how many of these cards exist in the grade PSA 10. 1809, pop count, pop report. 
population. Start of the week at 1825, end of the week at 2160. Let's pull this chart back like 30 days. Oh, looks like overall this code is going down there for a while. Let's pull it back 60 days. That's interesting. I didn't expect to see that. I thought I saw this card on the charts a week or two ago. Yeah, there it was. There's a big spike. So we're coming down from a big spike. It was up to 4,000, and it was really coming down. And now, if you look at it, I think this might be the floor around here, actually, because you can see how it goes more steady across, and it's not just descending down like it has been for... Because it hit a high of 4,000 on the 1st of February, and it looks like on the 21st of February, it went down to 1740, and it hasn't really gone lower than that since... And that was what I say. That was on the 21st. Today is March 1st. So that's a solid week of staying at that level. I think this is the floor. So buy, sell, or hold. I can see already from this chart that this is probably going to be a buy for me. It's Barry Sanders. He's a legend. Look at what his stuff has done. Clearly there's demand. But it got run up. And now it's down here to the floor. And that's a pretty good thing. That's something that I look for. Like when I sent, like that's part of the Delta factor. Like looking for stuff like this. And by the way, I'm in the Market Movers tool. If you don't have the Market Movers tool, like you have to have it. If you're at all serious about sports car investing, you just can't do it without this tool. You really can't because how else are you going to see this? What, going to 130 point and eBay past sales and trying to figure it out and piece it together? Like what a tremendous headache and a huge waste of time. It takes a lot more time and you're not going to have something this clear and concise to look at. I just click a few buttons and boom. So I'll leave a link for the Market Movers tool in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever you choose. Um, but there's a lot of things to use in here, right? It's going to take you probably more than a month to really start understanding all the different things to use. It's easy to use. It's just there's so many things to use that for you to figure out how you want to set up your own little system, it's it's it can take a little... It can take, you know... I suggest... And what I'm saying is I suggest be committing to this for at least two months so you spend the first month you know looking up stuff like this and then really starting to tweak it and test it and and put up different things by each other and finding all kinds of deals all right hope that made sense i don't know if it did but this what do we do i pull it up on ebay right we got nine more to go i gotta speed this up so that was that last sale around 1750 2300 are best offer 2399 are best offer got some auctions going on what else we got here? 11, 12,000 are best offer. 3,000 are best offer? Nope. 2275 are best offer. That's interesting. What else we got here? Yeah, no one really, see, no one really wants to sell below that either. But I think if you can get this, what was the last sale? 2160. Okay. Yeah, so it's starting to kind of, to kind of go up, it seems. Um, yeah, I suppose there's some good ones here because you can make some offers here. Maybe get this for 2,000. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this one. Because, uh, you know, we have this nice, like, refined search up here. So I'll leave a link so you can get this exact search to go over to this card. I think I'd be a buyer on this card for 20, what was that last sale? Like, if I can get it for 2150 or even, hell, even 2200 because it was up to 4000 a few weeks ago, a month ago. And now it's just kind of leveled out for a week. Like, I feel like it's on its ascent. So, I don't know. I like it. I like it at... What do we say was for sale here? I like it at like twenty one fifty. I feel like these guys would do that. Or best offer, I feel like they would do that. Twelve watchers, you know, even twenty two hundred maybe. Twelve watchers here on this one that's twenty three hundred a best offer. Uh, you know, looking at this watcher thing, it matters because this means eyeballs are on this thing. They took action to click this little button over here. You don't see any of these other ones with it. This has got it. That's always a little signal to look for. It's just another piece of data. All right, on to the next one. We gotta speed this up. Uh, Josh Allen, 2018 Donruss, up 10.3% on the week. Josh Allen, a guy I'm pretty high on, a guy I've recommended to my society because the football season, it just kind of tends to tick up from this time of year till basically football season starts. Let's pull this one back 30 days. Pop count of only 844. Been pretty flat. I mean, it looks on the chart like up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't think this is a real sale, this one. But you can see it's just rotating around this kind of 275, 270, 265 maybe mark. Yeah, about 265. It's just stay there. I think it's just going to start ticking up now. It's certain, if not today, it will very, very soon because we're going to have 
the combine starting. I know it's going to be a different kind of combine. And then we're going to have the draft. And combine will be in March, I believe. <clears throat> and I believe the draft is in April. So people are just on a lull of football right now, out of sight, out of mind. But it's going to be coming back real quick. And the shite is going to boom. It's just going to start ticking up at a faster pace. So it's it's kind of like now get in. I've, I've bought a lot of football. And I like this Don Russ pop kind of only 844. I dig it. Let's see. Let's see. It's high. Let's pull back sixty days. We'll see what its all-time high is. Because I guarantee its all-time high was during the playoffs. Yeah, there it was. This one got all the way up to four hundred eighteen. And right now, you're telling me you can get it for what? Well, I, I didn't pull him up on eBay yet. Let's go look. Last one sold for what? About two sixty. Last one sold for two eighty five. One before that was two sixty. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Two sixty. Thirty six watchers. Why is no one bought this yet? Yeah, I'm definitely a buy on this. Like, I, I just, I don't even got to think about it. 289 is not bad. 275 is not bad. I mean, yeah, I'm a buy on that one. No doubt about it. You just got to hold on to it for like, what is this? March 1st, April, May, June, July. Like four or five months, that's all. And you'll at least double your money. I can't guarantee anything. And this person, Josh Allen may get in a car accident and bust his knees tomorrow. I don't know. That wouldn't be good for his cards. But I'm saying all things equal over historical data in my experience. Football, especially highly, especially respected quarterbacks, young ones, tend to tick up pretty damn quick and go pretty high. Next number three on the list, Daniel Jones, 2019 Prism, up 1.6% on the week. And you can see football is just starting to tick back up. You know, it was these numbers weren't even that good last week. Football's starting to tick back up. Daniel Jones, let's look at this chart. Started the week at 123, ended the week at 125. Didn't really go anywhere like the one point whatever percent said. Pop count of 1764. Daniel Jones, not exactly as highly revered, desired as, say, Josh Allen. But, jeez, looks like his stuff's going up, though. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Over the last 60 days. Jeez, man, started at 160, has had some up and down, no doubt, but you can see that dotted line just pointing on a nice incline. Latest sale of 125. So 107 on New Year's Eve, and today, latest sale, 125. You're like, oh, you know, whatever, that's like, you know, it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, that's like 20% in two months. When did we get so greedy in the sports car investing world? We're just spoiled out of our minds. 20%? You know what people would do if their 401k gave them 7%? Pfft, they'd lose their shite. Look at this. And this is probably just going to tick up. So, like, it's so cheap. 1764 is the pop count. 125 bucks. Like, I was going to say this was going to be a, 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 a not buy for me. Not really a sell, but probably a hold, I guess. But now it looks like a buy. I mean, looking at that chart, you see how it's just steadily ticking up. Sure, there's a sale up. There's a sale of, you know... 126, then a sale of 97. Sale of 120, then a sale of 95. A sale of 111, 106, 106, 194, 113, 119. It's just starting to tick up, and these big dips aren't really happening like that much anymore. Sure, the last one happened on the 2nd of February. So that was when people, Super Bowl, everyone's moving their money around, but look how tight this one is since then. Yeah, I'm a buy. I'm going to pull it up on eBay. I can tell I'm a buy already. I gotta speed this video up, man. What did I say? 125 is the last sale. 135 with 24 watchers on it. Seems reasonable to me. Anyone got OBO? 160 OBO? How many are up? 56 for sale. 149 OBO. Man, make some offers. You can get this for 125 or less. I'm gonna buy. No doubt about it. Listen, this is football buying time of the year for me. This is this is when I buy football. In February and early March, I buy football. I buy football quarterbacks. That's what I do. Because you know why? Because every single year I see it's just as steady, as predictable as anything can be. I buy them in February, early March, and I sell them in July, August, before the actual season starts, before preseason even really starts, because I don't want anyone getting hurt. I'm just cashing out. Yes, even on Patrick Mahomes, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I hold my Mahomes because he just seems way too spicy. Because what happens is when the football season starts, football prices go down. And they go down until about mm, November, mid-November, early December. And uh, and then they start ticking up for the players that are going to be in the playoffs. Guess what Mahomes will be? Probably in the playoffs. But you never know. Because these guys get hurt. I could buy him back again in November if I want, even if he does well, for less than I sold him for. Anyways, number uh, speaking of the devil, Patrick Mahomesy, 
Number two, number four on the list is 2018 Prism. So this isn't his first. It's up 1.5 percent of the year. Not on on the seven days, 1.5 percent up. This isn't his rookie card. This is his second year card Prism. And pop count of 525. Uh, first sale of the week was 325. Last sale was 390. Let's pull it back. 30 days. Mahomes, he lost the Super Bowl. I don't care. He's really good. He's going to be back a lot of times. 405. That makes sense. That was before the Super Bowl. Here's the date of the Super Bowl. You can just you just know it. it on the day on the Super Bowl Sunday, it went for 488, and then two days later, three days later on the 10th, it went for 333. <laughs> yeah, quite a drop. It looks like it hit a bottom of about 280. And see, over this time period from the 17th till now, it hasn't gone below that. So it tells me the floor is 280, which makes sense. That's you know, I don't know, 60 percent of the 488 high. And so Mahomes, guess guess who's been buying Mahomes the past couple weeks? Me. Because it's football buying time of the year. Boom. That's all, I don't have, I can't say it another way. It laid a sale this card 390. The sale rate before that was 299. Goodness gracious. Let's pull it up on eBay, see what is going down. This is a second year. I don't really buy second years much. I mean, Mahomes are going pretty good, pretty good top dollar there. I guess it's all the same. This I'd be It'd be easier for me to let go of this one. Damn, you guys are really just right off the bat. Two ninety nine on the twenty seventh, and the twenty eighth there's a sale of three ninety. So all these guys are selling for like three eighty six, three sixty nine, two fifty. That can't be right. That's different. That's different stuff. Um, what else we got here? Set got town seven fifty. Got town, buddy. What you doing? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. No one's even. This is a second year car, guys. That's just how coveted Mahomes is. Jesus. What do we see? One with three in front of it. Three sixty nine was the lowest we saw. Maybe that's about right. I just. How can you not buy Mahomes? It just seems like such a jump. I'm not buying it. I'm, I think it's going to come down some. But I'm. I got my eye on this. And my market movers tool. You can just set an alert here. Click that. And say Mahomes when it goes below. I'm going to say when it goes below 340, send me an alert. So it'll send me an alert when this goes below 340 because I don't want to buy it at 390. 340 sounds good. I think there's a good chance it gets down there. And if not, oh well, with the Delta Factor method, I find lots of good cards to buy every day. Shameless plug. Link in description. All right. Next guy, Kyler Murray, 2019 Donruss, up 1% on the week. Kyler Murray, does he fit the profile of the young, hot quarterback that can just tick up and go up and get all kinds of hype leading up to next season? Let me take a drink while you think about it. Yes. The answer is yes. Good God, yes. He lit the fantasy football and football world on fire last year. He won Rookie of the Year. Last year was his second year. He had a nice progression. Guess what? In his third year, they just signed J.J. Watt, baby, on the defense. That just helps the team. Not just his like athletic skill, but his leadership. That guy's mind is straight. Look at this. 126 to start the week. Latest sale of 129. A high sale, it looks like, of 129.99. Let's pull this chart back 60 days. Guess what it's going to look like over the last 30? Let's pull back 60 so we can look. See? Hits a high on the 7th, Super Bowl Sunday of 191. Football's weird. And then, of course, on the 11th, it's down to 110. And guess what it's been doing since then? Let's go to 30 days. Had a ridiculous, that can't be a real sale. Oh, that's from the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then down here, 110. 110 on the uh, 11th. It's just been slowly ticking up. And now it's at 129. A nice, healthy 20% gain over three weeks, if that. Guess what? This card's going to keep on that pace. And actually, as we get to the combine, as we get to the draft, as we get to more and more football news coming out and people get actually getting excited for the new football season, the acceleration of these gains goes higher, goes faster, but higher acceleration. So yes, I can tell you already, I've already bought a bunch of this card. I'm still buying this card. This is football buying time of the year, in my opinion. You make you do your own research, make your own decisions, but it's very clear where I stand. One thirty nine ninety nine, one thirty four ninety nine, one thirty five, one twenty nine ninety nine. A 
lots of good opportunities here because where was that one I just saw? 124.99. Lots of good opportunities. Pop count of 23.63. Not incredibly small, but certainly not incredibly high. Pretty okay. And you see the progression of this car. It's just ticking up. It's going to keep doing that till July or August. I will leave a link in the description for this one also. Next, Kyler Murray again, 2019 Prism, up 0.8%, so not a whole lot on the week. But as we pull up the chart, it will show more of the story. Started the week at 470. End of the week at 487. That was also the high sale on the week. Let's pull this back 30 days. Pop count of 1841 on this one. 10.4 over. Low in the last 30 days on the 2nd of February was 396. The high looks like was 500. I don't know what was with that a few days after the Super Bowl. That's weird. And it goes down here the next day to 425. And since then, it's been ticking up. 483. 461. Latest sale of 487. Like I said, back on the 12th, it was 425. What's that? That's roughly a what? 15, 17% gain over 16 days. It's over. It's like a percent a day. Yeah, I'll take it. No doubt about it. Uh, I can already tell you, I'm a buy. I'm, it's football buying time of year, so I have a lot more buys on this video than most. Than most videos I make, that is. So would the last one sell for? 487. Here's one, 525. Some auctions going on. This one's got 15 hours left, and it's already at 485. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, 599 OBO, 549 OBO. Interesting. So that'd be one that I'd be plucking, making offers on. 600 OBO. I'd be putting out offers. 599 OBO or auctions. Either way, this is, I'll leave a link in the description because guess what? I'm buying that one too. Drew Lock, 2019 Prism. Up 0%. That's where we're at because the cards after this are going to be going down. Drew Locke is first on the list that I'm probably definitely not buying because I do not believe in Drew Locke. Pop count of 22.69. Last is sale to begin the week was 68. Latest sale was 67. Let's pull this back, you know, 30 days. I just don't believe in Drew Locke. I just don't. So I don't want to buy him. And his have been overall going down over this time. 76 bucks 30 days ago. Now today it's selling for 67. It has no signs of going up. It will probably go up, but it won't go up like the other ones we've been looking at. I'm not even going to look on eBay because I am, if I have it, I probably hold it because it probably will go up, but I am not buying it, but I'm not necessarily selling right now either because I think it'll go up just as rising tides lift all ships. Next one on the list is Patrick Mahomes, his 2017 optic down 1.3% on the week. This is his rookie. Let me get some spin drift while I while this loads. By the way, if you're still watching, smash that like button. Come on. All right. Started the week at 1900, had a high sale of 2283, ended the week at 1899. So that's an interesting chart. Let's pull it back. Pop count of 2698. So there's plenty of them out there, but not exactly the time of year people want to sell their Mahomes because here we go. Has a high in the last 30 days of 2774. That was on Super Bowl Sunday. The very next day went down to 1955. And it was kind of going down. It's kind of been going down since, which is usually what you see after, a, a, even if he had won, it would be going down like this. But now, I don't know what that sale is about. I don't know if that's real or not. 1899. I feel like this is probably about his floor by the look of it. And just because it's Patrick Mahomes, how low could he really go? Let me see here. What's that last sale was? Let me go back and look. Last sale was about 1900 Got some auctions going on. 2100 the best offer. There you go. Might be able to get 19 hell, 1800 out of that one. It's Patrick Mahomes. 2199 1999 her best offer? Yeah, there's an opportunity there. I will be leaving a link in the description to this one because guess what this card's going to do from historical reference, in my opinion. Historical reference is fact, but in my opinion... Historical reference doesn't always predict the future. So in my opinion, this car is going to start going up and it's not going to go back down until the season starts. And it's Mahomes. Probably, probably go up more than anybody. Next on the list, Baker Mayfield, 
2018 Donruss down 7.2%. This is his rookie card. This is another guy that I've actually bought some cards of. Wait for this to pull up. Let's uh, click the button again for it to chart. Baker Mayfield, you know, rookie of the year, 2018, set that record, which has now been broken by Justin Herbert, but um, he had it for a minute. It's meaningful. It was Peyton Manning's record. Pop count is 1765. This Baker Mayfield 2018 Donruss started the week at 104, ended the week at 91. Let's look at this card over the last 30 days. Because, you know, he got to the second round of the playoffs, man. Okay, 30 days ago, this card was 107, and now it is 91. I feel like this applies to Baker Mayfield, everything that I was talking about with these cards going up. Just because they're quarter, young, young, good quarterbacks, 99 bucks. What did that last sale was? God, it just seems ridiculous that you can get 91 bucks the latest sale. 99 bucks, 97.75 with free shipping. It just seems ridiculous to me that you can get this of of a young star quarterback like this. This is just going to go up. This is just going to go up until, in my opinion, right? Make your own decisions, but that's my opinion. It's just going to go up until the season starts. Tom Brady. Bottom of the list. It's 2000 Bowman Chrome, so that's a rookie down 11.6%. That makes sense. He won the Super Bowl. Um, and Andy's Tom Brady, so his stuff like went up, went up, and no one was really looking to sell much Tom Brady. Pop count of 1059. Brady, Brady, Brady. Brady, Brady, Brady. Started the week at 23,000. High sale of 25,000, and then the latest sale of 22,000. So there's only so much tail to be seen there. Let's pull this up 30 days ago. So I say so much tail to be seen there? So much of the tail to be seen. That's probably actually what I meant. So 30 days ago, this card was 25,000. Again, it hit a high the day after the Super Bowl of 28,000 because he won the Super Bowl. Pop count of 1,059. Latest sale of 22,000. Actually, it went up like crazy, and then it went down to 20,000. Then it went up to 25, then it went down to 21, really. And now it's kind of hanging out around what looks to be about 23, 23 and a half. But overall, it's just ticking up. You can see the, the dotted line, you know, lower lows. Every time it goes down, lower lows. See, there's a low, but then there's a low, but then it's lower. There's a low, but it's lower than the last. And now this one's a little lower. I'll give it that. Let's pull it up on eBay. 26,000. It's it's Tom Brady. I mean, by the way, if you're dropping this kind of cash, like you're not exactly looking to quick flip this. I'm just saying this is, might be a good buy opportunity for someone that wants to get some Tom Brady long term. 29.99 or best offer. Not that I'm looking to drop that kind of cheddar. 22 watches on this. That tells you people are interested in that price. And I don't blame them. Because here's a sale of 25. If I can get this for under 25, if I'm actually looking to drop that kind of cheddar, if I can get it for under 25,000, that's a deal. This is just going to go up. It's all forever. It's Tom Brady. He is, love him or hate him. Like, I'm not some big Tom Brady fan. I'm not wearing his jersey. I don't really give a crap about him. But he's the goat of goat of goats. He's the goat of goats. Seven. Seven. Seven Super Bowl championships, including one when he's 40 freaking three beating Mahomes in Tampa Bay. Also got to have the first Super Bowl in their home stadium, and they won it in his first year on a new team at 43. Seven. Shut your mouth if you don't think he's the best of all time. Shut up. You sound dumb. Anyone you say it to thinks you sound dumb. Don't even say it. He's the best of all time. I'm not a Tom Brady fan. It's an objective fact. He's the best of all time. I will definitely leave a link in the description to that card. And that ends the list. So smash the sub. Smash the bell. Smash the like. Go to sportscardsociety.com. Join the Sports Card Society. It's only $12.99 a month or $129.99 a year. You get an exclusive video sent to you almost every day, just me dropping fish in your lap. Um, and if you want to learn how I uh, find all these uh, the cards I do, my method, my the, the Delta Factor, click the link in the description. Um, plus, you get a free limited time bonuses. You get a free month of the Society and a year of the Sports Card Society private Discord filled with smart people 
And um, that's a bit. That's all I got for you. If you like this Market Movers tool, man, if you're serious about sports car investing, you got to have it. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year. This Market Movers tool is easily the most important thing that I use. You know, every video you watch, I'm on this thing because this is exactly how I do sports car investing. I use the Delta Factor and this tool to help me find undervalued sports cars are going to go up. And guess what? One of the things I share in the Delta Factor is I don't speculate. I don't speculate. I don't buy Michael Porter Jr. I don't. Well, unless it's a quick flip. You know, quick, quick flip and it's very low risk. I don't buy, I don't buy a lot of stuff. But there's certain, I really only buy certain players or certain positions or certain kind of things. And you just saw me here with football. Guess what? I mostly buy quarterbacks. Good young quarterbacks. That's what I mostly buy. Why? Because the data shows me that's what I should buy. And that's what the Delta Factor helps you understand is, is where, where do we get this data from? Where do I at least get the data from? You know, again, I can't guarantee anything's going to work for you. I can just show you what's worked for me. And it's worked pretty damn well. All right. Stay classy. You're awesome, Card Pack. Mwah.